We're talking with head coach the SMSU wrestling team, Jesse Nelson. The Mustang wrestling team completed competed at the NCAA Super Region 3 tournament this past weekend. Three Mustangs qualified for the NCAA National Tournament, and the team finished eighth overall uh, with 55 points. Coach, your overall thoughts on how your wrestlers performed on Sunday? Um, overall, I think as, as a collective, as a group, that um, we, we performed very well. Um, I, th I thought our guys just did a great job of battling. Um, some of those weight classes are just so deep in, in All-Americans. There's a lot of national cha national ranked guys, All-Americans, uh, returning national qualifiers that are staying home from the tournament. Um, so overall, I think we just did a great job. Uh, individually, can you talk about Kyle Bajan? Uh, Bajan was the number four seed and, the tr and a true freshman. He won the 174 crown by going 4-0. Uh, just talk about his tournament and how well you thought he did on Sunday. Well, obviously, uh, Kyle's a pretty unique individual. Um, he's a very tough wrestler. He had a couple losses, avenged one of those losses in the, in the finals to the Upper Iowa guy. Um, you know, I think, obviously, we went into the tournament thinking he'd be a four seed just because we hadn't seen very many of those guys and a couple of those guys had beaten us. But, you know, he comes to perform every week, and every time he steps on that mat, he's ready to perform, and, and he's, he's a lot of fun to watch. Uh, moving down to the 165 pound bracket, Kyle's bigger brother, uh, number one seed Jacob Bajan. Can you just touch on his second place finish, going two and one on the day, um, with his almost only blemish coming in the first place match? Um, I obviously feel very good about getting Jacob to the national tournament. I think it's been a long time coming. He's had some great records here, done some great things while he's been here. Um, getting him to the national tournament is obviously very important to us. Um, you know, obviously would have liked to see him win that match. Uh, you know, he was two and zero going to that match against that guy, Mankato kid, and 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 got beat. But you know, at this point in the season, that's not that's not what's important. He's in the national tournament, and now he's just got to take take, take care of business at the nationals. Uh, the third Mustang to qualify. Talk about Justin Ryan's at one thirty three in his tournament as he qualified for his second consecutive national tournament. You know, uh, one thirty three was uh, one of the tougher weight classes in the tournament. Um, I obviously feel very good about getting Justin back in in the. In the national tournament, he was the fifth seed going into that tournament, even though he was a returning All-American. Um, had a couple losses to a couple guys that, that put him in that situation. But um, Justin's a gamer. He, he, he came to wrestle, got it, took care of his business, and uh, obviously having his second trip to the national tournament. Uh, Reinsma, Bajan, and Bajan are your ninth, 10th, and 11th wrestlers that uh, you've sent to nationals during your tenure here at SMSU. Uh, just talk about the progression of this wrestling program since you've uh, been on board. Well, obviously, I think every year we, we look to get better. Um, I think we've proven that year in and year out. We've gotten better. We've qualified more guys to the national tournament. Um, had a great dual meet season this year, 13-6. and six. Um, Obviously, the, the program's moving forward. Uh, we, we, the, the future's bright. We feel that um, you know we have some good early signees, have some good potential guys coming in next year already. Um, and, and then, obviously, we, we, uh, we lose one guy. Uh, you know, we lose Devin Terry. Um, at 41, and you know him and him and Ethan split time anyways, so um, feel comfortable with what we have coming back at that weight. Um, it should be exciting, and obviously, you know, like I said, it's just been a it's been a work in progress, and we feel good about where the program's headed. Now that the regular season's over and uh, you're left with three wrestlers, how does practice change? It does it change at all? Well, yeah, obviously we focus on, on getting those three guys ready to go. Um, you know, all of our focus goes into those guys. Uh, we have a certain select few individuals that we have come in that help work out with those guys. Um, but at this point of the season, you know, it's keeping them healthy here at the end and, and um, you know, getting them to peak here at the national tournament. And, and, and like I said, it, you know, things are going to be pretty light here the next week and a half, and, and um, then we'll get, get prepared for that national tournament. All right, Justin Reins about 133, Jacob Bajan 165, Kyle Bajan 174. All advance to the national tournament that will be held March 8th and 9th. Thanks, Coach, for your time. Good luck. Thank you.